A question I get asked a lot is whether quantum computing is science or engineering. The answer I give is that it's both. We're continually discovering better ways of building practical and useful quantum computers. On the other hand, we've reached a stage of sophistication in the field where it's time to translate this into a real tool for the rest of the world. And that's the mission of Quantum Circuits, Inc., to put together a multidisciplinary team to crack this problem. The future with quantum computing looks like a future where computing resources are limitless. Quantum computers are a completely different paradigm for storing and processing information. A quantum computer would far surpass in its information processing capability even the largest supercomputer here on Earth. Well, maybe you just take a little bit of the science talk out of it. It starts by taking the ordinary bits that are zero and one in conventional computers and replacing them with quantum bits or qubits. Now a quantum bit can be placed in a superposition which is both zero and one at the same time. We know in conventional computing that there are many problems which are essentially like trying to find a needle in a haystack. What a quantum computer can do because of its use of these rules of quantum mechanics is it can explore many potential computations in parallel and reach an answer much more efficiently. This work began as pure curiosity-based research. Started building my lab to look into quantum computation. Our idea was just to see if we could even make something that would operate as a quantum bit. Co-founders and I at Yale decided to establish our own startup company, QCI. We launched the company in 2015. In 2017, we raised our first round of venture funding and have set up here in Science Park right in New Haven. Over time, our founders at QCI have found new and novel techniques that people just never had never thought about before were scaling faster than some of the largest companies out there. Other companies, other industries, institutions have adopted our technologies because the modules that we're building, that we're understanding every detail of, they have error correction built into them. They are going to be the most reliable units of quantum processing out there. And it's that unique approach that is going to give QCI the advantage in being the first to the goal of practical quantum computing. There's been incredibly dramatic progress to the point where we know now, scientifically, that it will be possible to build useful machines in our lifetime. These are really applications that are going to have a massive and disruptive effect on society as soon as they, as soon as they come online. Ten years ago, we would have said it was uh, 20 or 30 years away, and you know, today we think it's only five years away. So the timeline and the horizon is getting closer and closer because the pace of innovation is just going up dramatically.